all right into customs and we're going to use a pet which uh, I actually had in a video not that long ago. It's not going to be in the thumbnail this time around, but that is the mandrel. And when I recorded the last video, it was in Puppy Pack. I think I said something along the lines of mandrel doesn't have that many uses. And I regretted the commentary immediately because I knew there would be people in the comments suggesting the build that I'm about to do now. And that is using mandrel with pteranodon. And the idea is that we're kind of going to use it like the old chameleon. So you pill the mandrel with a toy and the pteranodon on board. The mandrel breaks the toy. We get the effect of the toy and then we resummon the mandrel with the uh, pteranodon. And if we have the flying squirrel on board, we'll also resummon the toy. Now that all sounds good in theory, but unfortunately there's not a whole lot you can really do with it because the mandrel is limited to toys that have a break effect. So that means the balloon at the beginning and then the Garyol's melon toy and then the two late game scaling toys, the uh, flashlight and television. All the other stuff, the stuff that people were excited to use Chameleon for like uh, getting permanent peanut and coconut, that does not work because those toys do not have an effect on break. So um, a little disappointing in that respect if maybe you thought that that was possible. <laughs> but uh, to be honest, I was glad that was taken out of the game. I didn't like the fact that you could just pill Chameleon and get a permanent coconut or permanent peanut. It just made a lot of other pets pretty irrelevant. So we've got the flying squirrel here and we also have the uh, two mandrels. In fact, we're gonna get the level two now and I'll freeze the crow for next turn. And thinking about this, I I couldn't decide what exactly I was going to do. Originally I thought, yeah, let's just take a level 3 mandrel all the way to the end and then pill it over and over to get lots of flashlight or TV scaling. And I tried that, and to be honest, it just wasn't very good. By the time you get that far into the game, your chances of finding the pill just aren't very good. And you can end up in a situation where you pill mandrel once and then you go three turns and you don't find any pills and your scaling just uh, grinds to a halt and then you get crushed by all the, the normal scaling team. So instead I decided to try and use the puppy. So puppy is a tier three, which means we only need the level two mandrel in order to activate the, the toy. And of course lasagna uh, or the oven mitts are also on that list of toys that have a break effect. So um, we've got the puppy here. Now I bring in the alpaca, I roll double puppy, and you might think you could buy puppy here to get the level two, but unfortunately that doesn't work. You know, you buy the puppy into an empty slot, you're gonna get the level one toy effect. And then leveling up the puppy isn't gonna do anything. So uh, we're not gonna buy it yet. We'll just have to buy both puppies next turn. Uh, here's Camel Leech's lame again. I got a comment from them on the last video in which they appeared. So uh, we'll take the two puppies now and then get the level two version uh, of oven mitts before we get rid of the puppy. And perfect time when we actually get Mosasaurus as well. But I am going to save the level up for turn nine to try and hit either Pteranodon or Cat, which will be in the thumbnail, I would imagine. So the idea is to get the um, level two free lasagna, uh, pill the mandrel, in, well, pill the mandrel in order to do, to do that, and then use the free lasagna with a uh, cat, uh, or maybe multiple cats if we have the space. There isn't a, an awful lot of uh, room on the team. And to be honest, we probably also need some kind of ability pet. So, so if we have Pteranodon, Mandrel, Cat, and Flying Squirrel, none of them have really relevant uh, combat abilities. So we're probably uh, going to need something else in order to get this over the line. So I'm going to pill Betafish just so that I get the uh, chocolate onto the cat. And then we roll a flying squirrel so we can get rid of alpaca and bring in, bring it in so that we can level that up next turn as well. And you can see here I'm playing the mandrel at the front because the toy break, even though the lasagnas can't be generated in the, in the battle, it does set off the Mosasaurus. However, here we're just gonna get crushed by Elf and Blowfish. It happens, but we've got four hearts, so not too big a concern. So we get the double free lasagna with the cat, and we can level to it. 
And I think, yes, I get another cat. So freeze the lasagna just to make sure we don't lose them. Combine flying squirrels and we also get pteranodon. So I'll bring in the cat and then we'll um, use the lasagna. I think I actually could have done that slightly differently in order to get to refresh the cat triggers, but it's not that big a deal. Um, and we'll bring in the pteranodon. Ideally, we would be able to uh, level up uh, one of the cats mid-turn because we're getting two lasagnas for free, so we're going to use the two triggers up immediately. But then we could potentially roll other food. So uh, that's something to, to look out for. Um, and th this is actually quite funny. This team, they have the new iguana that's level two. So they've tried to go with a, a push build with that um, eggplant. And actually the test server is live at the moment with a change to eggplant that would uh, kind of make that team pretty awful. So hopefully that doesn't go through. So we pill the mandrel, the pteranodon brings it back to life and now we can use the two free lasagnas to beef up the pteranodon. And of course now the cat triggers are expended so we can't actually uh, buy any more food until next turn but at least we're actually using the Mandrill's ability. Now that the Mosasaurus is gone, it's probably not that useful to put Mandrill up front. I guess I could put it there just to try and tank a, um, a snipe from Mantis Shrimp or something like that. Um, but when you're only gaining a tiny amount of uh, attack from the Flying Squirrel, I feel like um, I'd rather just put it at the back. So definitely gonna buy Melon here, I think. So Pill Mandrill again. We get the double free lasagna, we can bring in the melon, and then I think here probably I'm going to take the gorilla. I can't remember if I do it straight away or um, if I buy some lasagna first. So we're going to use one on the pteranodon and then bring in the gorilla and use the second one. Another issue with this is uh, you can't pill the mandrill twice in one turn until you have the level two pteranodon. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit awkward and uh, not surprising that you don't really see anyone uh, using it. And here is actually the exact situation I was talking about. I could have put the mandrel up front and it would have been sniped by the mantis shrimp, but uh, ended up not happening there because uh, I was too conservative. But we will, of course we do automatically get the, the toy breaks anyway, as long as we don't pill the mandrel. And uh, I think, yeah, next turn we'll get the double lasagna again. But we're, I really wanted to have as many pills as possible. Um, and although the Lynx managed to avoid activating the coconut and the gorilla, we end up uh, winning anyway. And I think here I'm gonna boost the gorilla and then give it the melon. Uh, so we're almost guaranteed to get the gorilla's ability going off. Uh, the Tranodon does have higher health so a skunk would hit it first there's a pill and i can i could pill this turn however the cat doesn't have any triggers left so i'm just going to wait and it's another uh, monkey t-rex team i think this video has just been monkey plus poodle monkey plus uh, t-rex t-rex plus poodle i can't remember the exact sequence but uh it's just um one team after another so pill mandrel again, get another two free lasagnas. Uh, we're really only skipping one turn of, uh, uh, of waiting for the toy to actually break. And of course you can do this without needing the mandrel. You can have, uh, uh, without needing the pteranodon, you can do it with uh, mushroom as well. But finding mushroom over and over again is a lot harder. Now here I definitely made a mistake. I shouldn't have frozen the lettuce. I decided to roll for pill. I don't know why I kept it frozen. But uh, yeah, another monkey team with uh, bison. Maybe they should have had uh, Poodle or T-Rex as well instead because the gorilla is going to kill the puppy and now the cat kills the Poodle. Actually, there is Poodle at the back. <laughs> I've seen so many of them at this point. I'm just uh, I'm blanking them out. All right, into the bonus clips. And I really wanted to include some of the blunders that I made while doing this. Uh, because there were a lot of them. And here's one. So we pill a level three mandrel here to get the TV. 
But now we don't have any space left on the team to bring in another toy pet because I forgot to take Flying Squirrel in the early game. Now I could just sell Pteranodon, but uh, I think at that point the run was pretty much over anyway. Here's another one. So we pill Mandrill here with the cat and we get the lasagnas. And then I think this one, I, yeah, I actually kept Puppy all the way here. And I then immediately roll another pill. And then I immediately pill the mandrel again. But the Pteranodon has no triggers left. And so I lose my level 2 mandrel. And I have to look for another one from scratch. And I actually roll one next turn, but yeah, it, uh, it didn't work out. Here's another one with uh, Koala plus Yak. And this time I decide to take the uh, peanut toy. And um, I guess I think I have uh, Old Chameleon on the team because I'm going to take the peanut toy and I'm going to put the pteranodon to the front thinking that I can give it peanut permanently and then I just pill the level 3 mandrill here and it's not going to do anything other than kill the peanut toy so yeah, um, if you're going to try this just make sure you're concentrating you cannot get permanent peanut, you cannot get permanent coconut